So just sitting there, thinking about foundations, fundamental foundations that over time we come to understand as in our brickwork and in our comprehension to the way that we read, what things mean, what metaphors are, this and that and the other. And so thinking of found foundations, one of my foundations is that we have lived many times, that we will live many times again, and that um, our soul is made up of 617 soul parts that came down here to participate in making a constellation about a university of something that is an option of the learning that is this planet. So that's foundational in pretty much everything I approach. Um, one of the other aspects that has come to be within my foundation of understanding is that the wolf is the killer whale, is the eagle, is the human. And there's this capacity of shape-shifting that is. When thinking about that, then thought about stars reaching down to Earth <coughs> in equal amounts. The Earth composes the horse. And the soul, the star, sits in the back of the head, lays down the spine, and, and rides the horse. And the horse has its own stuff, because it's clay of the earth. And the soul has its own stuff, because it's a rider. And then there's a chunk in the middle. And so the heart, one of my foundations is this understanding that the heart has as many neurons has a cat brain, and so does the belly. So there is capacity of thought that is coming from the stomach and the heart. So this is also in my foundation of comprehensions. Under that understanding that we're participating in making a constellation that can be accessed by a set of antlers on your head. Um, that is also in my foundation, that we can put hats on and, and um, get different things from different hats. So if we put on antlers, we can tap into constellations, but constellations aren't always available. Constellations move and are coming at different seasons, different times, different months kind of thing, right? So putting on the antlers is an option to be able to tap into the knowledge that is our brethren, our kinship, our, our other chunks of souls that have done this already, that have made the constellations because they came down here and they broke into many human bodies, into many experiences of the earthly carbon. Um, so plants, animals, landscape, places, rocks, you know, things like this. And one of my other foundations is that our soul is made up of three chunks. One in this horse and rider scenario. And one chunk turns into a bird with your face on it. It's known as the Ka to the Egyptians. And it flies from the body. And it goes and sits in other teachings in the top of the tree of life, in the Drazel, if you and your mother didn't get along. <laughs> But in other teachings, you just hang out there until you come back down. So that part goes up. Then the other part, the bottom part, I'm imagining more aspects of the horse um, head down into the underworld, which is where you get all your riches, according to some. And your gifts, things like this. Tools, functionals for here. That, so that part goes down. I imagine that part as a boar. Um, not necessarily with your face. I kind of feel like you're more in the belly of the boar when you go down, or belly of the jackal, or belly of the, the carrion um, eaters. And so you head down, 
to the underworld. And then the third part, the middle part, it goes into a part in nature. It goes to a favorite spot. It goes to a tree. It goes to a brook. It goes to a rock. It goes to somewhere in the physical surroundings in that you that you occupy. And um, and then that's why you can go to these places and you can hear your ancestors speak because they literally went to those glens. They really, they literally went to those dales. And um, yeah, so that's in my foundation. Um, some of the bricks. <laughs>